Well, uh, this is um, uh, the first tutorial of um, Unreal in many aspects because uh, it's in this one where we start with the uh, visual scripting. What we are going to do basically is just to create uh, a door, well, uh, allocate one door on the level design and uh, make uh, an invisible trigger so wherever our character uh, whatever our character goes through the invisible trigger that door would be open so that's quite simple well here in new project uh, we are going to use the third person okay the classical th third person project uh, be sure that you enable the started uh, starter content okay uh, well wouldn't worry so much about the rest of the uh, of the settings okay well, as you may know already uh, the third person project already includes a lot of stuff okay includes for example items okay to interact and uh, includes as well the most important uh, blueprints that are associated to the controller and to the player okay uh, so if you go to to play you can see already that this is a playable uh, playable level in many aspects okay so you can even jump okay have a um, set of animations already included okay in relation to the character either or walking or jump all these things okay so what we are going to do now is just uh, add one of these uh, elements one of these assets that are already included on the starter content okay the door as you see we have the door and the, the door frame okay so before you drag it we are going to do the collisions okay we click on one of them okay you see you can show the collision this it's the collision it is already constructed but it might not be working so the best you can do is check here in collisions okay so you can see that this one can be uh, blocked off example okay so it what it would block the character when the character tries to go through okay and then this one should be complex collision as simple okay this was already set it up from the uh, previous tutorial so we save that okay that we close and then we drag it into the level okay and this one we are going to allocate it okay if you see that oh, sorry if you see that that uh, doesn't match okay doesn't really fit the the uh, the door frame you can always adjust here the scale snap okay to be a little more accurate okay ah here box trigger yeah well as you know uh, trigger can have other uh, other shapes here we have this fade trigger okay but this this should be enough pressing L we can just change the shape so this is what is going to be uh, press and as a result it would open the, the door okay we don't really want to do it uh, much larger than the door itself because obviously we want that to be open just when we are uh, close to the door okay that should be now so now is when we add the the animation of the door but the animation is through the engine so basically uh, we call it animation but we are really referring to a visual uh, scripting 
action, okay, uh, an action that is uh, uh, order of the program through this visual scripting guide, okay. So we just create. Uh, we we have different ways of doing the animatics in this version of Unreal. We can do it through the sequencer or through the old matinee, which is legacy, means that it's about to disappear. We are going to use the modern method in this occasion. Okay. So we need to create this uh, this animation, this sequence, and just put sequence though. Okay, so the this is the sequencer. In the sequencer, we can select actors. Okay, remember that an actor can be anything. It can be uh, a light. It could be a camera. This mannequin we have from Unreal. In this occasion, the actor is the door. Is the door who is going to be open when we press the the right button or no? when we uh, collide with the with the trigger. So we need just to go here, select the door, okay, not the door frame, the door, and then here, add actor to the sequence, and we see that the door is already selected, okay, it's already uh, shown here, so, okay, so you have the here the the door. Okay, this is the frame zero. In the frame zero, I'm going to allocate, uh, going to select these to add new keys. I'm going to, to add basically uh, three new key, um, keys. So though the only thing really we are going to move is is the is the rotation. Okay, so uh, after that we are going to to now select. These are frames, so okay. Depending on how long we do, we will slower. Okay, so for example, six frames should be enough. Okay, select this. It's important that you select here key O. Okay, and this one. This way, it will create keys every time we move the actors that are selected in the level screen. So now selecting this again L, okay, and we move that. Okay. okay, we can do it more sophisticated. We could do that it opens, but then you know close a little. Like for example, uh, this way. Okay. So. Okay, and we can uh, yeah. So there is more natural or a little more natural okay and you see that in the second zero it doesn't do anything okay so this should be the animation we save that and we close uh, I'm just thinking that maybe it's interesting to know that uh, it's a good idea to uh, check uh, the duration okay so in this case this could be the movement okay might be better to just make this a little longer. Okay, like this one. Also here. This is the range. It would be just previewing the the range. Okay, you go here to play. Okay, and that seems to be a little better. Okay. Go to the blueprint, open the level blueprint. We open the level blueprint and uh, we are going to add the commands on the level here. Sequence door. Okay, we can drag it and it creates a reference to that. Okay, so the next, next step this way. We select the trigger box here, but in this case, instead of creating a reference, uh, we are going to um, to add two actions that are begin overlap and end overlap. Okay, so the 
begin or add an act to the beginning of the lab. Okay, so you see here it's already in relation to trigger box because trigger box is connected. Okay, the same way and overlap and overlap. Okay, and on actor and overlap also in relation to trigger box. Okay, so but what we want now is just to connect these these nodes. It probably makes more sense if we allocate this here. Okay, and then we just need to drag it. Okay, and then play. play. Okay, we need to to play through sequence player. Okay, that creates this target. That's perfectly fine. Okay, and then we are going to do it again because well this is playing the the door okay to so the door opens when uh, when the actor is is overlapping the trigger but what happens when the actor stops uh, uh, overlapping the, the trigger maybe we want or that is the case uh, just to make uh, the door to be closed and that is going to be very simple if we just put a play reverse Okay, so we have play reverse, also through sequence player, creates another target, okay, the same reference, okay, and now what we need to do is just to connect uh, these items, okay, so when it is overlap, place uh, the door to be open, when the overlap stops, place the reverse. Okay, so this is we save and we close. Okay, and now we can uh, is when we can test if this is working or not. The the frame shouldn't have a collision. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, going here to the um, to the door frame, okay. We are going to look for the door frame, okay. This one, and we are going to uh, change the collision, okay. So there is no collision, okay. Let's see if that uh, fixes the problem. Okay. okay, and that is perfect. We can go through the door. Uh, the light seems to be uh, still uh, unbuilt. It's better maybe to, to build them, but it should be... I mean, the exercise is done with.